chem containers going in that chair to be recycled. Kev's just loading up the quad back into here, take it along the road. I'm gonna spray some uh, Roundup round the sheds and whatnot. So we party at Kev's all this morning. Morning, Holly. So I'm just in the field of rape at the moment. Big break now. That's it. What? Back in the trailer, just getting the camel containers. The fart bags can't go at the same time, so I'll take these, then we can load up with the fart bags. The roads get a bit narrow when you're on a big trailer, so, so I'm just going to put the grab on now so I can put the fart bags into the trailer. So basically, you plug in these hydraulic lines to these couplers here. So I've hooked these two lines up, and this valve position now needs to go from there to there. Uh, that means then the oil won't go to these rams so the pins stay shut when you're operating that toggle switch inside so oil just goes that direction doesn't go through these pipes so it stays on the carriage That's us loaded up. I actually didn't think we'd fit them all in, but anyway, squeezed them in, pushed them down with this. Good thud right down, so we're good to go. Hopefully they come out at the other end. They might just get stuck in the bed and won't slide out, but deal with that when we get there. So now this toggle switch now opens and closes that rather than moving the pins. These couplers can now come off. Now we can get, I can get this trailer washed, um, done the last couple of jobs. Probably be done with the trailer till uh, harvest starts, so give it a good wash down now. So trying to get kind of right underneath it, you can see it's caked and grime over the last week while it's been used when it was wet. So get all that cleared off. I've started washing some of it, so just kind of covering it in soapy water at the moment, then I'll give it a proper blast with water with no soap in it to clean it all off but it's needing it. Thought it was going to be a fairly dry process. Mm. Anyway, it's clean. Nice and shiny clean ready for harvest. Anyway I think I need a shower but the trailer's nice and clean. Shout out to have a wee wash as well. So that's it. Put it away now for harvest. It's quite quite early but it's needing a wash. It's not really going to get used from now till then. It'll get a wee layer of dust all over it, but I'm not worried about that. Bottom half's okay, had my waterproofs on, but a bit of a rookie up top. Today's question of the day on this uh, trailer, what is that cylinder for? That's getting left to dry. I'll put it down again once it's dried. Bucket's going up, tank can stay there. This is the new wash bay. The old wash bay is currently now a shed. Update on this bit of a project for storage for the shop, warehouse slash store. So there's the joiners made up four panels so far. These are just going to then fold up onto the wall. Oh no, six panels, there's two, two sections here. They'll fold up on the wall uh, all the way along here, all the way along there. Same here, there's going to be a bit of an office in this patch um, once he gets around to that. But he's just put the membrane on it just now. And that just protects to protect from moisture. These OSB boards, um, they're nine mil. The joiner was telling me he was he'd be paying eight nine pound, if that, a year ago for these. They just got quoted yesterday or this morning, seventeen pound. He's managed to source them elsewhere for a wee bit less, but it's crazy. So we've had quite a big order and um, delivery of stuff arrived. These are all sheets. For the side of the shed these are concrete panels again for the shed so these will make up the walls and um, the lower walls that the grain sits against the these panels will all be above the grain and um, just in the exterior of the shed so these are the sheets that go inside of the shed and um, 
and they are this color that's the color of the that the shed's going to be so it's kind of a navy dark navy type color it's a plastic sole sheet so it's i think it's 0.5 mil thick um, and it's got a plastic coating on the metal and then there's also a pile of drains and gutters that all sit along the edges and come down the way so it's all arrived recently missed it all arriving i was away anyway that's it here now the you can see the roofing sheets all sitting down there ready to start putting the roof sheets on but it's seriously coming together now so they've obviously been cutting some of the sheets and um, these are the odds and ends of these sheets there must have been kind of the final panel at the top for the right length they've chopped them i think there's still to go still to put nets up uh, in uh, on the inside and um, for safety reasons so they can start putting the sheets on if there was to be an accident and someone was to fall they'd land on a net and they wouldn't hit the ground you can clearly see where the door is going to be now so that's going to be the height of the door that's where lorries and forklifts will come in that's going to be a wee man door a wee hatch door you need that in case the motor on the roller door stops working you don't want to get trapped inside so we hatch door manual hatch door to get in and out roofing sheets another big pile of them it's one pile on this side one pile on that side so they're a fiber cement sheet we went for a fiber cement because you get less uh, dripping from condensation on the inside if you go for a tin sheet and um, so the likes of and um, the side of the shed and um, on the roof instead uh, you can get quite a lot of uh, condensation and dripping in the shed which you don't want so fiber cement sheets should stop that